This video is a review of the speed reading app by developers Lickability. The name of the app? Velocity. I was very impressed and hooked from the beginning. Velocity uses rapid, serial, visual presentation, a method that streams text across the screen at a selected speed, 300 words per minute to 1000 words per minute. This technology is said to help quiet that inner voice called subvocalization that keeps you reading at a slower speed. Now let's take a look at Velocity. Velocity is available for iOS devices. I have it on my iPhone and here my iPad. I'm going to go ahead and tap the Velocity app and it will open up to its sources screen. You have several ways to bring content into the Velocity app. Let's skip over the iPad entry here for a second and you see the accounts that you can use. Instapaper, Pocket, and Readability. You can also get to content through a uh, web address entering a URL and then you can save that web address. So let's start with the web address. I'm going to select the web entry and enter a URL macgroup.org select go. It's going to take me to the site. I'm going to select the blog post and from there select one of the blogs and now that I've come to this article I'm going to select save and then I can select done and you'll see that the iPad entry now shows four instead of three so if I click iPad it will show you that the entry is now here for uh, accessing that blog post through the Velocity app. So let's take a look at how Velocity presents this article to you. I'm going to tap the article and Velocity will then stream the text to me one word at a time. I can stop the text by just tapping on the screen and then I'm presented with uh, themes and I'm also presented with either increasing or decreasing the amount of words per minute streamed to me on the screen. If you look at the top in the center, it tells you how many seconds left of reading you have depending on how fast the words are streaming to you. I can press the red arrow to continue reading. Tap it again. Now I'm going to set it back at about 440 words per minute and I'm going to click up here on the upper left and select themes. The theme gives me three choices, light, dark, or sepia. You see that light is listed as better, dark, <laughs> tall and handsome, and sepia as easy on the eyes. So I'm going to leave it at light and press done. And now let's press done again because now I want to take you to the sources section and go through the settings. Choosing the settings, you're presented with theme. Once again, I can also change the theme here. I can change the font. I have four choices and I also am able to select Open Dyslexic, which is a font designed to reduce some of the common reading errors caused by dyslexia. So let's choose settings again. I can change the reading speed again from 100 words per minute all the way up to 1000 words per minute. I can also set how many words I want presented on the screen to me at one time. And I can set up to four. I'm going to set that back at one. I think one reads better for me. Uh, let's skip over install for a second. You see that you can also access the Instapaper, Pocket, and Readability accounts from here. And you can, going back, you can also install a Read and Velocity bookmark. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's install the Read and Velocity bookmark. Tapping that option, it gives you a dialog box saying install bookmark. The bookmark will be copied to the clipboard. And from there, you follow the instructions to complete the installation in Safari. So let's select install and it'll take you out to Safari. From here, you go to the share icon in Safari, click on it. 
Now you click on the bookmark icon and here I'm going to make sure that I have the proper location. I'm saving it in, this in my favorites and I'm going to select save. Now I'm going to go over to the right side of my Safari screen and click on the bookmark icon itself. Go to the icon and I have a double one in here. So this one, my original one at the top here is one I created first to make sure this worked. So now the new bookmark is placed at the bottom of my favorites menu. I'm going to select edit. Now select the read and velocity bookmark. Select the URL and I want to make sure that I select the entire URL. So let's see if I select all. And remember the original um, copy to clipboard. So now when I select paste, it's going to paste the needed bookmark URL. So I now click on favorites and select done. So now it's ready. So let's tap here. I'm going to go to a web page. Go back to a Mac News web page. And let's select our article again. Or a different article. Reading faster is about to get a little faster. And now that I've opened up this page, I'm going to go to the Safari bookmark icon and select Read in Velocity. Now it will open up this article in the Velocity app. And there you go. Start reading. So let me pause that for a second. Select Done. And that article has also been added to my iPad entries. Reviewing the Velocity app and the Spritz technology, I am absolutely hooked. I found that my reading speed did appreciatively increase using this technology and this app, and I am wanting to read all of my content this way. Well, at least most of it. You can't yet open PDFs or eBooks or iBooks in Velocity, but hopefully it's just a matter of time, and I am anxiously awaiting for that time to come. Hope this was helpful. This is Sheeta Hunter. Until next time.